Some folks in Jinx are upset over a rezoning ordinance. They worry their property will now be worth less. The city argues it could attract more tourists while keeping the historical field of downtown. News on 6's Jordan Tidwell takes us inside the debate. Rhonda Bender's family has lived in Jinx since she was in the second grade. And had their pharmacy there until 1998. She says that's one of the reasons she's so passionate about the rezoning ordinance. Her family owns land that would be rezoned and she says it will devalue her property. She believes property owners should be given an option to rezone or not. So let us opt in if it's good for us. Let us opt out if it is an economic, um, you know, a bad impact to us economically. The rezoning focuses on three areas, including near the Riverwalk in hopes of bringing in more entertainment and tourists and also in downtown Jinx. The city's director of planning says they want to expand the historical feel of downtown by five blocks. But the citizen says we love the two blocks that we have, but we want more. Karen Anderson owns Alien Games, which would be a part of the downtown rezoning. She was hoping to sell her business one day so she could retire, but now fears she wouldn't get what it's worth. The more uses that you can put into a building, the better your chances are of selling it. I'm not planning on selling it, you know, anytime soon, but as the city develops, there may come that time. The city says ordinances are law, but they do have flexibility and they'll work with business owners and believe rezoning will keep Jinx competitive with nearby towns. It is change, but I think that um, it, it's a really good direction. The Planning Commission will discuss the ordinance on March 3rd and the City Council will vote in April. In Jinx, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.